YouTubers. Tobacco tip number two video. As I was explaining in the last video that you don't need to pay a lot of money for a nice quality pipe. Usually that you get the cheap ones, they have cock in them, I said that. And you have to sand them to actually get to that place again. You could get a really expensive one, which can be Cheapest pipes can go for five or six dollars. Basically, when one of my grandfathers smoked the pipe, it was on a budget. on a budget, literally on a budget, so my grandfather wasn't, my great grandfathers and all my grandfathers were not rich, they were working Joes, so became a pipe person, kind of like the old people in the movies technically, and they smoke a pipe in their slippers, in a chair. So, people don't spend a lot of money on pipes. If you want, you can, exp you can spend a lot of money with metal fixtures in them that they don't burn. So they last for... They last until the fucking metal melts, basically. So, this, on that note, is an affordable way to go, but it works good. I mean, it works phenomenal. Pipes. On the cheap note, are good quality. They last a long time. But the only thing is you can't get the tobacco smell out of them. But, smoke, if you're going to buy a pipe, do it cheaply. You can still be a hobbyist and enjoy a pipe and not freaking be expensive about it. And you can make your own pipes too if you know how. Just by fiddling with some wood or something like that. You can make your own pipes. But that's it. Thank you for watching. Hobby Hobbies. Pipe hobbies are not all about money. So thank you for watching. This is video two. Bye bye.